Retweet if you agree. If you use the Rewinds feature that's now standard on many SNES and NES games available on Switch, you did not by any stretch of the imagination beat the goddamn game. I'm not gatekeeping at all, because I'm motherfucker Mike Matei. So, here's how I responded. Retweet if you agree. If you ride the coattails of a friend that got millions of subs on YouTube, you did not by any stretch of the imagination get millions of subs on YouTube. And that's pretty accurate. It's really funny and hilarious to see this total gatekeeper douchebag try to put his opinion forward on what a real gamer is. You did not beat the game unless you did it the way he deems that you did it. So any game with difficulty settings, for example, you did not beat it unless you did it in one sitting on the hardest difficulty without using save points or anything like that. Is that what that means? Perhaps it does. Maybe if we were lucky enough to have college roommates that made a large successful career off of making online content, maybe we could spend all day at home to play video games as well, like they're intended, like you say that they are intended. You are a gatekeeper fascist. That's all I've got to say about it. Mike Matei, fuck you, and fuck anybody that thinks like that for the matter. This hobby is not about who is the best and all this other stuff. You know, this is not what that's about. Now, if you're actually watching, say, a speed run or a gaming competition, like a tournament or something like that, yes, there is that element of gaming that does exist. You know, high score runs and things like that. That is a real thing. But most gamers aren't really interested in that stuff. They just want to play through the game. They want to have a good time. And they want to see a game to its end, oftentimes. And honestly, a lot of those old school games have pretty poor, terrible game designs. It's ludicrous to expect people to practice for hours and hours a day to get good at, like, the original Ninja Gaiden or Ghosts and Goblins, for example. I respect anybody that can just beat that game, period under any circumstance, even if they only beat the one run, because honestly, that whole, having that whole second run thing was, it was straight up elitist douchebaggery from the developer's part, so it doesn't really count as beating the game to people like Mike Matei if you only beat Ghosts and Goblins the one run and you can't get the second run, which is a completely redundant thing. The players already proved their skill at the game. I really don't get this, guys. Why are people like this in the gaming community? And more importantly, why do people defend these people? Is it because of their unearned popularity by riding the coattails of their college roommate friends that got millions of subscribers on YouTube? Perhaps. I guess it could be that. Or it could be just the fact that people in general have this tendency to project themselves as being better than their peers. They have this tendency to be better and bigger than life itself. And it's just really tiring. It really is. You know, I have been playing Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I've been playing on Jedi Master. I'm not playing on the hardest difficulty setting because I don't want to take a century to play through the game. But I did want a good challenge, so I am playing through it in that difficulty. Well, I just started playing Astral Chain. I'm only playing on casual. I guess it means I'm casual automatically at video games. Or maybe I just want to enjoy the game. Everybody has different tastes and are up for different kinds of experiences when it comes to gaming. You know, back talking of Jedi Fallen Order, one of the people I know that's been playing it had platinumed Bloodborne. But they played it on, like, story mode. Because they just wanted to enjoy the game. They just wanted to get through it in an easy fashion. They weren't there to challenge themselves or anything like that. And that's fine. There's, that's what we need to get away from in this whole gaming community thing. The seventh generation did make things a little too easy, admittedly, when it came to video games. Like holding your hands and telling exactly where to go and things like that. It's good that games are starting to get more challenging again. But if people just want to enjoy the flow of the game, let them. Why, why do you have to be an elitist douchebag fascist? Down Phoenix out.